I come to the garden alone while the dew is still on the roses and the voice I hear falling on my ears, the Son of God discloses. And he walks with me and he talks with me and he tells me I am his own. And the joy we share as we tarry there, none other has ever Everybody, Lady Cheryl here. I had a lot of requests for uh, a video on how exactly I made my turnip roots taste like potatoes. So here you go. Let's get started. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my turnips and I'm going to peel them. And they already been scrubbed, so I'm just going to peel them and then I'm going to dice them. <laughs> is this knife big enough? <laughs> but I like it because it's super sharp. So I'm just going to peel my turnips and they're still crisp and crunchy. They have a long shelf life. I keep mine in the refrigerator and I have my refrigerator set at 33 degrees. So it's just slightly above freezing. Now, I could probably just put these out in my garage because I don't turn the heat on unless I'm out there doing hair. So, that would keep them fresh too. So, I'm just going to put them in here because I'm going to rinse them again. I'm just going to put them in this little pot that has holes up under there because I'm going to rinse them again. It's no matter how many times you scrub them with a brush, sometimes you don't get it all. But after I peel them, then I will make sure there aren't any particles like that right there still on the turnip. And even though these are purple top turnips, they are just purple at the top. And when you peel them, you can see it has a creamy color. Yeah, I was just thinking one night um, after I harvested my turnips, I was just thinking about how I like the taste of peppery taste of turnips in my mixed greens and when I cooked my mixed greens I always uh, removed the diced turnips and separate them and then I evenly distribute some in each quart jar that I pressure can. And so since I like the taste of turnips and since I'm trying to cut down on carbohydrates uh, because I'm pre-diabetic and I don't want to have to go on medication, I really am mindful of the amount of starchy foods that I eat, as well as uh, unhealthy oils, grease, and sugar. So I said, let me see if I can cook the turnips and season them a little bit and just see how it tastes. 
So I just did a few of them. And boy, oh boy, oh boy, I loved it. I made a 15 second video on how I can cook turnip roots to make them taste like potatoes. Now, all of this, you guys know where it's going. In the compost. If you guessed compost, you are absolutely right. So now I'm going to just dice these up and then I'll do the final wash. And they don't have to be in small pieces, but if you do cut them up in small pieces, uh, they will cook faster. But they cook about the same amount of time that uh, potatoes cook. So let's take these out and put the chopped pieces in. And I love this little Chef Star strainer because it has holes in it large enough where the little particles of soil or debris will go straight through the holes. If you consume a cup of plain cooked mashed turnips, it only contains 11.6 grams of carbs. That's pretty good, guys. Because if, let's say you're on a 2,000 calorie a day diet, that equals 300 grams of carbs. Now, that's more calories than I consume in a, in a day. But I'm just saying, for a normal person, you see how you can really cut down on your carbs. If you allow 300 grams a day and a cup of mashed turnips is only 11.6, hey, that's pretty good. Now, check out these facts. If you're just counting calories every day, if you eat one cup of cooked plain turnip roots, it's only 17 calories. So you can't go wrong by cooking Turnips. Remember that you need to factor in your sodium content, if you put fat or oil in it, as well as any type of cheese. Be, be sure to count that as well, okay? After I researched and found out how healthy turnips are, and I talked about this on my Monday Night Live chat a few weeks ago, I sold more turnip seeds. I don't grow turnips in the spring. But I decided that I would do that this year so I can have a healthy potato substitute. And even if they don't get that large before it starts to get real hot here in North Texas, the smaller turnips actually taste better than the large okay. ones. Now I'm going to take the turnips over to my kitchen sink. And I'm going to rinse and rinse and try my best to get all the little particles of soil off of them. And I'll be back. Okay, so now I washed the turnips up off real good. And I put them in a pot. And I made sure that the water just barely covers them. I'm going to bring them to a boil. And then I'm going to simmer for about 20 minutes or less. I'll let you know. The time that you let them uh, boil or simmer would be determined about how many turnips you cook. Okay, so you can see that uh, the top of the pot is steaming up. Once it starts boiling, I would turn the heat down on very low. Okay, so you can see here that my potato, <laughs> I call them the potatoes, the turnips are boiling. They're my potatoes. And I'm gonna turn them down now and just let them simmer. I'll be back. Okay, guys, so you can see my turnips are simmering, and I let them simmer for 15 minutes. And I tested them with this masher to see if the turnips are soft enough. 
and they indeed are. So now I'm going to thoroughly drain. Now, if I was making mashed potatoes, I would rinse off the uh, starch in the water. But since it doesn't have that much, it's cloudy simply because of the steam on the um, on the uh, camera. But I don't I'm just going to drain it, okay? Now, I'll be back. here's a little pearl from Lady Cheryl. I take all of my uh, vegetables that I steam or boil, and as long as I don't add anything to the water, I save it. So I drained it into this pot, and I water my garden with it once it cools off. Okay, so I'm just going to mash my potatoes, <laughs> my turnip roots. <laughs> Now, I'm not making uh, mashed potatoes real creamy and soft. I, just, I want that texture to still stay in it. So I'm going to mash them up a little bit. And then I'll show you what I add okay, to it. So I mashed them up real nice. And I'm adding a little black pepper. And remember, turnips is going to already have a peppery taste. But I love black pepper. So I'm going to put a lot. But you do it to your taste. You Season to your taste. And then I'm going to mix this up. Now, guys, you can add butter. You can add cream. You can add a little olive oil. I don't need all of that. So I just add a little grated, finely grated Parmesan cheese. And let me just say that I don't add salt because I'm on a low-sodium uh, diet. And there, so far, wasn't any salt in what I used. But as you can see here, let me see if I can get a better view of it. And you can see here, there are 370 milligrams of a, in a fourth cup of this Parmesan cheese. So I'm going to put about a fourth cup in here. And mix it up and I'll be back. Turn my gas back on high because I want my cheese to melt real good. Take my spoon and mix it up. And now I have cheesy turnips that taste very close to potatoes. You can add any side dish that you want with this and have a meal. Okay. Now let's move on to the next thing I want to show you guys. Here's how I make a quick meal from my previously canned pasta sauce. All the ingredients in the pasta sauce were grown in my garden. I also added ground turkey as well as a pasta substitute. The first thing I did was I cooked my ground turkey and then I added my pasta sauce to it. And while that was simmering, I opened up a can of the Linguini Heart of Palm pasta substitute and I rinsed it very well. This pasta sauce only has 20 calories a serving and only 4 grams of carbs. So you can enjoy your favorite pasta dishes without all of the calories and all of the carbs. And I just really like it. It's sugar-free, gluten-free, and it's great for people that are vegan or vegetarian or on a keto diet. After thoroughly rinsing the pasta, I combined that pasta with my sauce and meat. And in less than 15 minutes, I had a meal. After eating this type of pasta substitute, you really can't tell the difference. Or at least I'm fooling myself, but it tastes delicious, guys. Now here's a picture of another meal I made in less than five minutes. All I did was I cooked the shrimp. I buy it from Whole Foods. It's already deveined and detailed. And all you have to do is just saute it with a little olive oil. And while that is sauteing for a few minutes, it only takes about three minutes to cook shrimp. I was 
draining the linguine that I had in the can, the pasta substitute made out of heart of palm. And I just drained it and rinsed it and rinsed it, drained it again. And then I just added it. I added a little Parmesan cheese, black pepper, uh, a little red pepper flakes. And I had a meal, guys. It's a new year. It's 2022. And I'm going to try to even eat more healthier. If you like this video, please hit that like button and subscribe. Thank you for watching. Bye now.